guys, it's Lane, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reading you um, Tidal Lion by Helen Stevens. Let's get right into it. Okay. How to hide a lion. Day, a lion strolled into the town to buy a hat. Sorry about my chair, guys. But the townspeople were scared of lions, so the lion ran away. He ran as fast and as far as he could, and hid in a house in the garden. It was a playhouse, and it belonged to a small girl called Iris. You can't hide in there, said Iris, who wasn't scared of lions. That house is too small for you. He went inside so Iris could hide the lion properly. They had to be quiet because moms and dads can be funny about having a lion in the house. The lion? Wait, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to show you this picture. Okay, and this is... Oh, wait, wait, So, the lion let Iris comb the leaves out of his mane. And he showed her his paws where he had stepped on something sharp. I'll put a bandage on that, said Iris. <laughs> it wasn't easy hiding the lion. He was just too big, too fluffy, and too heavy, especially when he was asleep. Lines sleep a lot. But when no one was looking, the line could come out to play. They just had to be careful not to be too noisy. Iris's dad said, they still haven't found li that lion. I bet he's a kind lion, said Iris from behind the sofa. There are no su There is no such thing as a kind lion, said her mom. All lions will eat you. The lion was worried, but Iris comforted him. Then she read, him his favorite story. It was about a tiger who came to tea. He fell asleep halfway through because lions sleep a lot. And that was when some well, and that was when everything went wrong. Iris heard her mom coming up the stairs, but she found it's hard to wake up a sleeping lion. However. However, most lions will wake up if a mom screams at them. Ah! The lion raced out of the house. And found a hiding place where he could still see Iris whenever she came into town. Nobody noticed him, not the townspeople, not even Iris, and certainly not the two burglars who broke into the town hall and stole every single one of the mayor's candlesticks. But the lion noticed them. That's his hiding place. With a huge roar, he leapt off his pedestal. And stood on both of the burglars until the police came. All the townspeople were amazed, except for I, she said. Told you he was a kind lion. Now the lion was a hero. He didn't have to hide anymore. 
townspeople held a special parade for him. The mayor said he could have anything he wanted. Then the lion thought for a moment. Then he asked for... What do you think it's going to be, guys? all he came to town for in the first place. It really suits you, said Iris. So, yeah. Yeah. So, one other thing I wanted to show you guys... This is the actual cover without the cover, without the oh, it's called the cover like that. Yep. <laughs> so that in, yeah. So yeah, I hope that handle is good. Big thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all notifications. Yeah. Bye.